Unlock the power of electronic shifting with synchro shifting. Shift up or shift down through all your usable gear combinations without duplication with just one hand. As you shift into your harder gears, the front derailleur will automatically shift onto the bigger chain ring and the rear will automatically move to the next harder gear. As you shift into easier gears, the front derailleur will automatically shift onto the smaller chain ring and the rear will automatically back off to get you into the next easier gear. Go ahead and use your left hand to take care of your chain ring selection whenever you want to. For instance, if you're going up a long steep hill, you might want to switch to your small chain ring to avoid a double shift under load. Or jump into the big ring for that sprint finish. There is something called semi-synchro shifting. This automatically adjusts your rear derailleur every time you shift your front derailleur. I think this is less useful, but it is still available. Confirm the compatibility of all the electronic components that are installed on your DI2 bike against the compatibility chart. Download the E2 project software by visiting the Shimano website at shimano.com. Download the latest version of the E2 project software and install it on your computer. Open the E2 project software and select the appropriate bike. In this case, it's a road bike. Make sure that you've connected the junction box on your DI2 bike to an unused USB port on the computer. It will also warn you that when the project software is running, no charging is taking place. It will then look for the junction box on your bike. Click Next. It then begins the process of recognizing all the components on your bike. On the right hand side is a list of all the detected components of your DI2 system. It then checks to make sure that the firmware installed in each of those components is up to date. Click Complete. Now you're ready to customize the software. Select Customize. And here you have a number of choices. You're going to select the shift mode setting. In the shift mode settings, you can set the gear ratios that you're using on your bike. You can set the front chain ring to any of these possible combinations. And then select the cassette gearing on your back wheel. You can control the programming of two different shift modes. In this case, I'm going to select Synchronize shifting for shift mode 1 and semi synchronized shifting for shift mode 2. You can select any combination of these options. Click Next and for shift mode 1, I've selected synchronized shift. I'm then presented with a gear map. This allows me to control the switchover points for my gear shifts on my front and rear derailleurs. The default settings are actually quite good and very usable. I'm going to opt to make use of those default settings. But if you're so inclined, you can actually create your own custom map. For semi-synchro shifting, you can customize the point at which the gears will shift. Either one, two, or three gear shifts on each crossover. The default values are pretty reasonable and I'm going to stick with default values. It will then store those settings on your bike. Click complete and then finally you can complete the setup by clicking the complete setup button. And that's pretty much it for the part that you'll program using the eTube project software. The E2 project software allows you to adjust a number of other custom settings. We're not going to cover those in this particular video. Next, disconnect the junction box from the USB port on your computer. You can simply select whatever shift mode you'd like to use. Double click the mode button on the bottom of the junction box 
the green and the red light will blink once to indicate the default mode. In the default mode, there are no automatic shift functions. The derailures are set to wherever you set them. Double click again and the green and red light will blink twice to indicate shift mode 1. I have set this to full synchronized shifting. Double click again and the green and red light will blink three times to indicate shift mode 2. I have set this to semi-synchronized shifting. I am so impressed with synchro shifting that I can't see using any other shift mode. What do you think? Let me know with your comments. And don't forget to subscribe and go out there and have a great ride.